Oh, this is this, this. This is what running's about. It's such a bloody hippie. Oh, wow. Oh, hack my brains out. That's nice. Ah, oh, oh, look at this. This stuff. It's so good. It's so good. Man, I'm having a total moment. Mean and Scottish. That was a great way to finish the day after being so depressed after getting personal best. Uh, so the run today I decided to go on was simply just a Google mapping and finding somewhere which I thought looked quite interesting. So I live in Edinburgh and I thought, uh, I wonder if there's somewhere cool to go for a jog, maybe around a reservoir. And then I saw there's this, well, it looks like a fairly big one over here, which I've never seen or heard of. And it only seems like one tiny little road that takes you all the way out to it. I thought this might be quite uh, interesting. So it's the uh, Karen Valley Reservoir, or Glen Karen, no, it's just Karen, Karen Valley Reservoir uh, in Scotland. And uh, it's it's a proper nice place to go for a walk. Uh, the car park, I'll just wait for this to clear up. Little car park area at the start there. And then if you jo if you jog all the way around the side, uh, it's lo just a lovely view. Uh, I didn't go into the hills, I think you can go into the hill, into steepness a little bit more um, and then when you get to the other end you're really running along the road on the way back so that was a little bit sketchy however it's such a quiet road um, oh I wish I knew about Loch Walton, would have gone up to that, that would be very cute as well which is very cute, it's got a little island on it, a little island there lots of little fishermen, uh, fishermen and little rubber dinghies as well like where it's just like one man dinghy thing I saw which is quite cool. So that is where it is. Uh, as you can see it's near uh, Falkirk and then you and Stirling there, Glasgow down here. And it's it's pretty pretty meaty. Um, uh, to give you a quick review of it, going from here through all this bit to there, that was a 10 kilometer um, jog and then the road back was six. So it's it's a 16 kilometer jog and here is the video of the of the trip of it. So that's that's how, where I found it and that's where it is in Scotland. Now this looks far more like it. Karen Valley Valley Trails. Uh, car park here, two pounds to park for three hours. Um, and oh, oh this is this is looking I've never been here before. I have no idea how big or long or anything this is. I'm already off track, but I think it's, uh, there, there's toilets here as well, um, and everything seems lovely. There's quite a few cars coming in, a lot of mountain bikers as well. So this is obviously a popular place for mountain biking, um, and I have a slight worry that part of the trail is going to be on a road on the way back. So the first bit, I think, into the hills. So this, uh, oh, this is cool. This is a cool place. Uh, this looks like it's the the very end of the reservoir, but it's just very cool just seeing cascades of water coming off that. It's I've never seen a reservoir like this end of it. That looks really cool. It says danger, it doesn't seem like we can go that way. So it looks like we're going into the forest, which again is a cool forest. Holy crap. Holy crap, this. Uh, this is huge. Um, okay. Wow, this is massive. Um, I <laughs> that bit was still the water just cascading down. That was cute. That was nice. That's that bit there. So you think, oh yeah, there's the resort. Oh, look at the wind. Wind from over there. However, it's absolutely blimmin' massive. I don't know if I can actually see it from here. But effectively, it goes all the way into the mountains. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be a good joke. I think it's also very much made for people to do actual walks around as well, like cool trees and then things for kids to jump around on and walk over and have cool fun in the little trees there. Uh, yeah, again, annoyed. I didn't know about this place beforehand. Well, I think. <clears throat> I think this is going to be a lovely, lovely jog. Uh, there's a well-maintained path, it seems. There's a beautiful lock, a reservoir. It's not a lock, it's a reservoir. 
people fishing on it, there's other people walking their dogs, cyclists going around the place, wind farms over there, edge of the reservoir over there. Uh, not too windy, but windy enough to keep the flies away. Ah, oh. oh, this is going to be good. Oh my god, this is so nice. Ah, oh, right. Ah, oh, just fly fishermen over there. The view of just the sun and the clouds going over the the landscape. The little guys on their boat with their fishing rods, tutoring away over there. Sun hitting the white houses over there. The awesome the hill over there. More fishermen over there. Oh, oh this is this, this. This is what running's about. I don't know if this is a path I'm about to go down because it seems to, uh, seems to kind of, nah, that's not a path. Um, that just goes into the river. Uh, oh, this, this. If you want to do a nice trail run in Scotland, Todd Holes Car Park at the Carron Valley. It's, it's going to be a long one because I suspect it's all the way to effectively the horizon before that mountain. And, uh, Oh, just. I'm really, really liking the look of this place already. This is this is what jogging's about. There's something just lovely whenever you stop and just listen. Okay, I hear a plane over there, but just ah, oh, when you live in the city, oh, I'm just coming out here and hearing nothing. Apart from wind and trees, sun hitting your face, wind in your ears, and just this colour, green, just green, 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 and blue. Ah, it's just like, ah, just the different layers of plants and off to the trees, and look at all the uh, pine cones in the trees, uh, or fir cones, that's more like it. And uh, I can see the plane over there. Wow, it makes a lot of noise. But just... Oh, if you can do jogs where you can really just just soak this stuff up. This, this, this is a total recharge of your soul. Your, <laughs> your nature batteries. Your seeing plants and just, oh, listen to that sound. And it's not coming from a toilet. It's just a little stream coming down from in the middle of a foresty wood kind of thing. Ah, oh, such a bloody hippie. I don't know if this will show up quite well on the GoPro, but I've just come from like open kind of tree landscape, past a little river to unbelievably dark, thick, thick forest. And on the other side, just whenever the sun was out there a second ago, just seen that river going down past the fallen trees with all the moss on it and everything. Uh, it's just like something out of Lord of the Rings and you expect there to be some um, hobbits around the place. Oh wow! Just like... Trees are so high here, I can barely get GPS. And just... Oh, oh it's so cool. Just nature and then squeaky birds in the trees. Oh. This is so nice. Now, if that's not a photographer's wet dream there, just a valley with no path, just a little river coming down it and a fallen tree, all you need is some awesome sunshine coming through that. Ah, oh, that's... Ah, oh, if you're a photographer and you want some like, just like landscape and treescape uh, shots, this is the place to come. So nice. Oh man. Man, I'm having a total moment just now. Just, just, I don't know what this moment is, but it's just me, a path, trees, Scotland, beautiful weather, perfect temperature. You can see my breath a little bit, but oh, it's like, it's like, yeah, there's something, something awesomely, uh, I don't know, it's not creepy, but it's uh, it's like danger or mysterious or it's like there's hidden treasure in there and you can't even see past the 
outer branches up into that forest. And yet I know there's a the reservoir just over there. I can hear the the um and stuff. There's nobody else around uh, apart from the old bird. Oh there are oh, really like this is actually doing something just now. Uh oh. Ah, that's me uh, just done one hour so far, 50, yeah, one hour with a pretty dismal 7.67 kilometers, barely anything. However, I'm still not at the end, uh, still got to make it, I can see the end, I can see the other end of the reservoir. Um, so it looks like it maybe it flows out both ways, I'm not too sure. Um, but after an hour, I'm going to fuel up on Kinder, best thing in the world, that's my uh, eating disorder, what do you call it? What did, what did I call it? Uh, I R K inability to resist Kinder. Um, so Kinder will fuel me around the rest of this, and uh, the rain. Ah, it's what we call liquid sunshine in Scotland. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Um, but yeah, it's quite a long. I think it's gonna be a long one. This, but just cool. Very cool. Well, I was totally going to try and make my nine to ten k. Uh, split my fastest one. However, just been stopped in my track by an awesome bird. Damn it! I was just flown away. Uh, massive, big ass bird uh, flying overhead, swooping around, looking like it's looking for something. Uh, really, but also at the same time, it was kind of scary because I was thinking that bird looks big enough, it could, you know, hack my brains out. So, like maybe, maybe don't get too close. But I want to see it again, it was cool. Cool, so this, guessing we're not actually allowed to go along, but I'm just gonna have a, a little, that's not electrified, okay, that's good. Oh, so this is the other end of the reservoir. Looks like the water's quite low, maybe it's normally a little bit higher up. And uh, I didn't see a sign saying I can't do this, but uh, this is cool. Oh boy, running along a wall like that really uh, heightens your concentration. <laughs> yeah, especially after tired after doing uh, almost exactly 10 kilometers, 9.96. So, from one end, way over there to here, that's uh, 10k, I think. The official other end car park is that one over there. Uh, and it's called Todd Holes. <laughs> Go away, fly. Todd Holes? Todd Holes? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can just go along to the end of this. But I just... Oh! That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah. Liking that. Oh. Okay, let's see how well I can do this. Oh, that gets a bit gnarly after a while. Like, you're like totally having to focus down on that. That's really, that's really hardcore. Uh, cool, let's find a way out. I think that way will do. Mm, I think I'll leave my parkour days behind and not try and jump over. Ah, oh, walls and fences after doing 10k there. Oh, oh, that's. that's that's nice, a uh, little stretch there. So now I've got to find my way back. I think it's, I think it's that way. Oh. Yeah, at the same time, even if you're looking away from the, what do you call it, the reservoir, it's just a little river down there. Oh, going, well, it looks like totally the wrong direction. It looks like it's going uphill. That's the hills. The river seems to be going that way. Or is it? I don't know. Well, it must be. That's really weird. That is an optical illusion. Looks like it's totally going uphill. Bizarre. Well, there's a fence to get in and out, and it just says public water, Scottish supply, no, public water supply, and danger, but nothing saying keep out. I guess that's part of the Scottish uh, right to roam rules. Um, yeah, for fishing by permit only, 
um, but if you want to just walk along it, just be aware it's dangerous. Now, the dangerous bit is along the road. So I'm going to be running on this. This bit I'm not so keen on, especially because it looks like there's a lot of uh, blind corners, so I've got to be ready to jump into the hedges, the bushes, the, the side. Ah, oh, look at how the sun is just sparkling off the reservoir of water and also how bizarrely there's that tree just totally out in the middle of the reservoir so maybe the water is high just now uh, well the amount of rain Scotland's been having I'm not really surprised but oh, oh, oh look at this this stuff uh, it's so good it's so good ah uh, feeling feeling like I'm totally getting some fast speed on this uh, road on the way back uh, it's just nice and flat feels like it's all downhill although I can't but what is awesome now is uh, just seeing the storm coming in or the, the heavy rain coming in over the mountains over there and it's on its way but yeah over there blue sky there the sunshine kind of over there looking mean and scottish i think uh, my next purchase is going to be one of those actual uh, camel pack rucksacks i think i'm worthy of uh, spending some money on a camel pack. Uh, the ones where the water, there's like a little sack of water that you have in your rucksack. So you, A, I don't have uh, the uncomfort of this heavy ass bottle digging into my uh, into my back as I'm jogging along, pounding away. But also just having, because it has a little straw sometimes, um, just having that ability just to suck on water at any point without having to stop, take rucksack off and, uh, you know, do all that kind of crap. So I think, I think as a present to myself for being awesome today, I'm going to get myself a camel pack. Oh, a car coming. Scary. Ah, mean and Scottish. Yes, that's more like it. <laughs> uh, back there, a little car just parked in the plastic place. There's a woman in there, Satan eating crisps. Clearly tell she's the wife or girlfriend of a fisherman. <laughs> Fisherman's out in the rain <laughs> on the lock. She's just like, stuff this. I just want to read my book and eat crisps. <laughs> Fair enough. Look at these funny guys. Hey there, funny cows, sheep even, goats, wherever you are. Whoa. That's me back to, well, the other side of the reservoir from here. So it's cool to think I've been all the way around there. And now I'm just coming into this little village, I think, which is the village of Karen. Caron. Little fisherman still out, and uh, yeah, now I just need to find my way back to the actual uh, car park. Or actually, it's not actually even a village, it's just a couple of houses outside of the Karen Valley. Now, it's now I've got no footpath for you, well, so well, I haven't had a footpath at all for the last uh, five kilometers, so that's no big deal for me. But yeah, if you want to get your boats and go fishing, that's the pier kind of area. I guess you get a permit from there. Uh, fishing car park. That's where you get your stuff. Uh, yeah. guess there's lots of fish in there. There's lots of fishermen. And uh, lovely. Karen Valley, east of Scotland Water. Now a little bit of knowledge for you, you probably didn't know that the Karen Dam was actually originally constructed in uh, 1935 um, until 1938, it took three years to build, but then it was reconstructed in 1985 to 1987, and I, I just know these things um, about these places, it's just, that's what it is, and also there maybe there's a sign here, Karen Dam, there it is, I, re I really want to run across, but I guess that's, that's not allowed, boo. And the running path seems to take me back exactly uh, the road where I came in, so I drove in this way. Um, so yeah, I'm not, there's no shortcuts or anything. Back along the path, back to the car. Awesome, lovely. Did that at a uh, grand speed of eight, <laughs> eight kilometers an hour for two hours. And that was uh, pretty much spot on 16 kilometers. Oh, car. Oh. So, uh, if anybody has got the fitness to run about 16, 17k in two hours, or run for two hours, I would highly, highly recommend the two pound parking charge uh, for the uh, Karen Valley Reservoir um, jog. 
stunningly beautiful. Didn't get annoyed by flies. Weather was awesome. Scenery, just so cool. You're in the forest, you're out around a reservoir, you're running along a dam. Uh, there's like fallen trees, there's big scary birds, all that stuff. Ah, that, that was lovely. If you've got kids and stuff, 16k, that's probably a bit, a bit too long. What I would suggest, and maybe if you come in two cars, one of you parks at the far away end, so then it's just a 10 kilometer walk through the forest, and that'd be lovely. Um, and they get to the end and then drive back here and do a car share kind of thing. Um, but only once I've come back to the car park, the flies are annoying me. But yeah, that was, that was a great way to finish the day after being so depressed after getting personal best on my 5k run this morning. Nature, that's what it's all about. Okay, there you go. I'll put the map in the link down below. Cheers, bye-bye.